you know, there's a difference between genetics, which is how our DNA creates our bodies, and genomics, which is how our body's DNA responds to the life that we live, how our environments changed, which genes are expressed, which get transcribed into RNA and eventually become proteins and cells and change the way our bodies work, the way our brains think, all that kind of stuff. And so what we study is really how that DNA menu of opportunities for creating proteins and cells and, and bodies, how that responds differently to different kinds of life circumstances. So genomics is really about um, which, you know, sort of options life orders from the menu of opportunities available in your DNA. And to some extent, how we think about the world, how we think about ourselves, how we think about the world outside us, whether we think it's a exciting, generative, engaging, safe place, or whether we think of it as a unpredictable and hostile and threatening kind of environment. Those, it turns out, we're discovering order up different kinds of molecular responses from this menu of opportunities available in our genome. And so I think the big question now is how can we, uh, you know, sort of live our lives in a way that calls forth the healthiest profiles of gene expression, uh, not just in terms of disease, let's say, in, in our kind of somatic well-being like heart attacks or cancer, but to some extent we know these processes are affecting our brains, the way we interpret the world. And so I think probably the most significant implications, although the ones we understand the least at the moment, is how these molecular processes shape the way our brains work and ultimately how we interpret the world around us, how we respond to, respond to it, and how we decide what we're going to do in life, what we're going to engage with. I think the, um, you know, the most important thing in genomics is to understand that DNA is not destiny. That we, uh, you know, DNA creates a, a sandbox of possibilities, but what we build with that sand, the life we make, the bodies that to some extent we, we create through our interactions with the world, all of that is flexible and we have a surprising degree of uh, usually unrealized control over that. And I think one of the big opportunities now is to help people uh, remember that, help take that into account when they're deciding what they're going to do uh, with their life or even with their day-to-day. -day.